problem we see is that there's not any natural rock pools. And on other shorelines around Sydney Harbour, we get these natural erosion patterns that provide microhabitats for species that live on the shorelines. And so in this riprap here, we actually don't see those kind of habitats. So we have a, a community of species that is less than what you would see on a natural counterpart. So by adding these habitat enhancing boulders that are designed by Reef Design Lab and Living Seawalls, we're able to add these microhabitats back into the shoreline. And each boulder has a few different types of microhabitats inside the rock pools themselves. So the rock pools are retaining water, which is a thermal refuge. So it provides a cool, safe space for animals at low tide. But inside each rock pool, we have crevices and pits. And these microhabitats are crucial for being able to encourage small species like snails and other little fish to come and swim in and use them as habitat. So that's what we're aiming to do here. And we're testing the designs of the boulders themselves against some control boulders to make sure that the rock pools are acting in the way that we expect them to. And we also have different types of microhabitats that we're testing among each boulder itself. And this is going to be an installation that we're going to monitor annually, and we'll compare it to control sites on either side to make sure that the boulders are acting as we expect them and boosting biodiversity here at Bossman Spirit West Park.